Hi everyone, welcome back to the Toffee Blues, your source for all things Everton and this is going to be another 24-7 news report video. Um, not a lot to go through today but there's still been a couple pieces of news that have come out today uh, that we're just going to talk about. So the first one, which is the headliner for this video, you'll have seen it when you clicked on it, is Felipe Anderson. Um, and this one's coming from Team Talk, they're saying that Everton are contemplating a move for West Ham's Felipe Anderson as Carlo Ancelotti prepares to sanction Bernard's exit to Roma. Um, and a lot of people are pretty unhappy about this one. Um, I don't really think either that it's a player we should be going for. Um, we did a poll actually about now, as we usually do, whenever there's a, a sort of news coming out like this that sort of splits opinion. Um, we usually do a poll over on our Twitter, which is at Everton Newsfeed. Make sure you go and follow us over on that so you don't miss out on any of the extra... Um, any of the extra content. So we did a poll on our Twitter. We said, would you have Felipe Anderson at Everton? And 65.6% .6 of people said no to this one. Um, and, you know, we there was a, quite a few responses to this one. Uh, Yannick Balassi actually responded to it, which was, was funny. Um, at Blue Merseyside says, not wanted at West Ham, not wanted at Porto. But we want him, seems strange to me. I actually thought he was a decent player in his first season, but he seemed a bit lazy from what I've seen. And he's pretty much hit the nail on the head there, what I think as well. Um, Tom Walker says, got to remember this is David Moyes. All he wants from his players is to defend and run a lot. Carlo could make him class again. Um, so, you know, there's, there's two sides to it, really. There's The majority of people are saying that they don't really want him. They think we should look for some other players. But obviously, if we are going to be moving Bernard on to Roma, then maybe it could work. And of course, if Carlo Ancelotti wants him, that's good enough for me because, um, you know, it's he's the manager. He's won trophies. We need to follow him, in my opinion. Um, Isaac Lancaster says he's a good player. Yes, it hasn't worked out at West Ham for him. So I presume... We won't have Moyes Keane back then. Worked out for him with the move. Sometimes works like that. He'd be okay. So there is people who are, you know, for this one. Um, there's a lot of people who are, who are against it as well, which you've got to understand. It's all about opinions. There's some people who will welcome him with open arms. And obviously there'll be people who will just believe in Ancelotti's vision and Marcel Brands. So um, there's... A, a, it's pretty split opinion this one. Um, just a couple more. Tom Fox eighty seven says ninety nine percent certain this is complete BS. West Ham fans I've read say he's one of the laziest players they've ever seen. HG eighteen seventy eight. If he isn't good enough for Ancelotti for Moyes, then he's not good enough for Ancelotti. EFC Ben seven says no thanks. Um, the real Mister Frisk. By all accounts, he's been absolutely dreadful in Portugal. So, there's still a couple of people that, you know, Ryan here says, uh, you know what, I'd take that, I still rate him. So, this is really, this is a Marmite transfer, this one, if there ever was one. There's a few people saying that he, he could do a job for us and you've got to believe in what Ancelotti wants. I'm personally on the other side, I don't think this is the right thing for us. I think we need to be looking at better options than Felipe Anderson and not really taking players that haven't really done much at West Ham so I don't think it's really a good option for us I think we should look somewhere else maybe abroad because he, I don't think he's going to do it um, moving on to James Tavernier who's a player that um, sorry not James Tavernier Marcus Tavernier we have been after James Tavernier obviously for from Rangers in the past but we're now linked with Marcus Tavernier who's a Middlesbrough midfielder um, the Hartlepool Mail site Team Talk as claiming that Borough have brushed off inquiries from Everton, Leicester and Wolves for Tavernier, while Leeds have been credited with interest. Um, that article states the 21-year-old has been in fine form for the T-Siders this season and has started 18 of Middlesbrough's 22 league games. He signed a three-and-a-half-year contract with the Riverside last year, which runs until the summer of 2023. Um I'm just going to get a bit of information up about him because I've never heard of the lad and uh, I'm, I'm, I want to be able to, you know, give a bit of a, an opinion on it. So he's a 21-year-old midfielder. Um, 
He's represented England at under 19 and under 20 level. So, I'm not actually sure if he's a relation to James Tavernier, but um, yeah, I'm not sure about this one. He's obviously one that Brands and Ancelotti have looked at for the future and thought, yeah, he's a player that we want to have a look for. I'm not sure if he's a, a, a you know a player to go into the under 23s, but um, according to um, the Hartlepool Mail, this one is uh, looking like it could happen. Moving on to the... I can't believe I'm talking about this one again. Um, Michael Oliver admits uh, there was a mistake in the Merseyside derby regarding Jordan Pickford and Virgil van Dijk. <laughs> um, I'll skip over this one. Feel free to miss this one out in the video if you, if you want. Just skip over to the next bit because it's now been like day 10,000 or something like that and we're still talking about it. Referee Michael Oliver has admitted Everton goalkeeper should have been sent off for his challenge on Virgil van Dijk. It's just a... Um, yeah, he's pretty much admitted he's made a mistake. He's come out and he's obviously given in to the pressure of um, the hate he's been getting for. And it's... It, yeah, I don't know why we're still talking about this one. It's, it's rubbish, to be honest. Um... It was a big game. Both teams were flying in. The assistants had given offside, and there, is, if, and there is a delay in the flag, as we had this season. Jordan then comes out to Virgil. The thought initially was it can't be a penalty because it's offside, so we need to check the offside first. I think it said to the VAR, if it's not offside, I'm going to give a penalty. I've watched it back so many times. I genuinely don't think Pickford has done anything apart from trying to spread himself, but he did it in the wrong way, as the injury shows. We all have, we have all, myself included, have not thought about the challenge as much as we should have done. We could have still have given offside and sent Pickford off. What I was surprised about looking at it afterwards was that nothing was expected on field in terms of red card. None of the players were asking for that. Um, so, yeah, I feel like if it wasn't for supporters, this one would not be getting talked about at all because obviously it was a bad tackle, but we're still talking about it. It's just unneeded, really. Um, moving on to Moises. Caicedo, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, uh, from Independiente del Valle, uh, Ecuador wonder kid, uh, and that the news is Brighton and Hove Albion have entered the race to land Everton-linked Ecuadorian wonder kid Moises Caicedo, according to a report. Last week's speculation from the 19-year-old's homeland suggested that the Blues were now at the head of the queue for Caicedo, but the Guardian claims Brighton are now hopeful of pipping several of their Premier League rivals for the Independiente midfielder. Um, so this lad is probably going to be, I'm not sure what the type of fee is, I haven't really read too much into it. I think James reported this in one of his 24-7 reports. Um, but there's also been interest from Man United, West Ham and Newcastle. Um, apparently Man United have cooled their interest. And uh, Brighton, who retained a good relationship with Independiente, after making a sign in front of them in 2018, are hopeful of making this one happen. So I'm not too sure on uh, Moises Caicedo. I don't know what type of player he is. Again, if it's like a Carlo Ancelotti wants some sort of thing, let's just go for it. Um, and you know, if it's going to be a good value for money deal, you know, this one, this one probably could happen. Um, but yeah, Moises Caicedo, Brighton and Hove Albion have entered the race for him as well as Everton. So. That's another interesting piece of news. Stay tuned for that one because uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens. Um, as I said, I'm not too sure what type of player he is. Um, you know, is he attacking midfielder, defensive midfielder? I'm not really sure, but we are. We could do with some quality midfielders, so it would be good to um, to get one over the line in Moises Caicedo. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching this one, guys. That's all we have for today. Uh, if you have enjoyed it, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram, all that stuff. And make sure you stay tuned for more 24-7 news reports. Obviously, weigh in with your opinions in the comments section. It's really good to go through and read them once the video's up. Um, and yeah, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.